What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beer review. Rajay here. I'm going to take a look at one tonight from Great Lakes Brewing. This is the Lake Erie Monster. Great Lakes, of course, is out of Cleveland, Ohio. This beer here, I have not had, and I've actually looked for this beer for a long time. So happy to finally get one here um, as they just came out. This one actually has a Best Buy bait. Best Buy date of 9-23-15, so pretty good freshness on this one. Um, the Lake Erie Monster Imperial India Pale Ale. And as I showed the artwork there, um, I do like some of the artwork that they do put on some of the Great, on some of the great Lakes bottles. Can't talk there for a second. Um, issue a small craft advisory. This South Bay Bessie Inspire Brew unleashes a beastly hop attack amid torrid tropical flavors. So, um, ready to crack this baby open. It's been a long time coming on this one. Here's actually the bottle cap as well. So you can see that there for Great Lakes Brewing out of Cleveland, Ohio. Go to crack this baby open for your can of smoke. Actually going to use a Great Lakes glass. So we got it all going on tonight. Get that into the glass here. Oh, I can't even tell you how happy I am right now to finally get one of these. I am looking forward to this. So, didn't pour too aggressively on it, so it actually left me about a finger of the head. There we go, right there. The head itself, about an inch of a nice, uh, just off white head. Wow, look at the carbonation. Can you see that there? Look at that in front all these bubbles that are just rising through it. it's got some real good carbonation taking place uh, great beautiful um, golden amber color I mean clarity see right through 100% so no cloudiness no murkiness really a pretty beer uh, depending on how you put it into the light does affect it of course but that baby looks very nice how about the aroma who Tropical fruits come right at you. You get the grapefruit, you get the um, all the different tropical type fruits you would expect to take place. A lot of good citrus flavor. As I mentioned, the hops, the IBUs on this are actually 80, so 9.1 ABV, 80 IBU. You do get the dankness of the hops there as well. Get a nice pine smell. I mean, this is just phenomenal smelling beer. I'm a little nervous about going in right now. <sighs> Go ahead and check out the taste. Oh. Wow. Wow. That taste just great mouthfeel, an explosion of flavors. You're getting the the tropical sensation. You're getting that hopness. You're getting um, no alcohol hardly at all as far as in the taste maybe a slight bit you're looking at a 9.1 beer that just comes off very very smooth I mean this thing if you drink too many of these you're going to find yourself as they say four sheets to the wind but this thing is so smooth you could easily put this down would not recommend going through a four pack of these anytime soon you get a good uh, light to moderate bitterness, not as much as you'd expect on the ADIBU. It really balances out well, I'd assume, with a lot of different malts that they're using in here, which you're not getting a heavy bitterness. Um, the finish is a good average finish. Um, you're, you've got the body itself is a good medium to full body, but it's not heavy. You're getting a nice creamy sensation as you as you drink it as far as the texture of the beer. Maybe a slightly oily uh, texture in there as well. The carbonation is soft. I mean, you don't get any bubbles that are coming back up where you're ready to start burping or anything like that. I mean, it's really smooth. And the finish, the finish leaves a light astringency. I do feel a little bit of that, that that pucker sensation but actually 
the pucker sensation on this one is actually pretty balanced so you don't you don't have the heavy pucker you would expect off an 80 IBU beer this one is really so smooth that it's light as far as the pucker sensation um, again alcoholic taste hardly any I mean it's just a smooth beer um, it goes down smooth it's got the great aroma it's got the lovely appearance that you have here you see the head you got some of the glass lacing taking place and as far as the head it's, it's hanging in there for a little bit it started with the finger it's almost dissipated now but the lacing it leaves behind tells you how good of a beer it is as well I mean this beer is really phenomenal the Great Lakes Leary, Lake Erie Monster if you have this I would definitely recommend it um, really a smooth imperial IPA one of the better ones I think I've had um, scale of one to five I'm actually going to give this one four points say 4.75 that's how good the beer is 4.75 I rarely ever go to a full five because that's like saying perfection but this one at a 4.75 um, it's up there and I'm actually right now going through a thousand and one beers and this one is not listed they have a couple of the other ones from Great Lakes I'm hoping in a new edition that's updated it is in there because this beer deserves to be one of those beers you want to try before you die for sure so again this is the Lake Erie Monster from Great Lakes Cleveland Ohio definitely check it out especially if you're an IPA fan and I'm going to finish this thing and kick back and enjoy it and uh, look forward to talking to you in, on the next video if you've had this beer make sure you leave comments so that I can see what your thoughts were on it as well and any feedback you may have and of course if you like the video remember to like the video and subscribe so you're up to speed on any other videos that I put out well, cheers and look forward to seeing you next time